all right everybody how you doing got a video for you today going to be unboxing and reviewing this uh double two-in-one butane insert it has a yellow flame and a torch uh it's a dual insert so you get the best of both worlds i don't really know too much about it but uh we're gonna get an honest reaction and see uh how she works uh so let's take this thing out of the package uh, this was gifted to me by Kismet. Uh, it's in a sealed bag. That's how you know I've never opened it before. You have to open it to get it out. I'm just going to squeeze the bottom. should pop through the top. No, and it's not. That's, okay, that's a little tougher. Let me bite it. There we go. Okay. Alright, so there it is. No, I don't think this is full. Okay, so it does have a flint. Uh, it's very heavy. I have to. I have to note that for sure. It is extremely heavy. Uh, but the whole process of having two things <laughs> in there is going to be pretty great, I think. So, first, let's look at what we got. Okay, so basically the same as every other one. We got the filling port. I believe that's for. Look how small the flint tube screw is when you got to change the flint. And then we got the adjuster. Wait a minute. Okay, so the butane thing's right there. So I think to change the flint on this, you got to remove the screw in the middle. This, the whole thing comes off, and then you'll be able to change the flint underneath. That's the only way I could see this working. But so far, so cool. Let's check it out. Oh, it takes the butane really well. No seal, no seal loss. 20 seconds should do it. Okay. All right, so let's, uh, I think this is cam based, so let's take my 540 Wolf. Take the Zippo insert out. Oh. Does fit. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So propane's a little high. <laughs> let's uh let's take this out. It fits in there funny. And I noticed the lid wasn't closing properly. I don't know if uh, anybody else had noticed that. I will get a different Zippo here. Grab my other everyday carry. But first, let's turn this down. So, in order to turn this down, we got to go minus a bit. Oh, I think that is all the way down. Oh, it wasn't turning. This thing's hard to turn because my screwdriver. My screwdriver is bigger than it. Still a little too big. Sorry, my screwdriver is bigger than the uh, slotted hole. That should be good. Oh, perfect. Oh, look at that. It switches over. So you light it up soft flame style. If you need a torch, you can just hold the torch button. And it puts out the... That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Okay, so guys, the one thing I've noticed about this, if you try to start it and you press the button, you'll put it out. That's what was happening there. That's what, like, see? See it? Oh, well, it did do it there for a second. Now it's not doing it. But that's a... Uh... Hmm. 
that's pretty cool. I don't know how much these cost or where Kismet got it from, but uh, I'm sure he'll comment where he got it from and how much it cost. And, uh, I didn't do any research on it. I just wanted to give a natural reaction. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like it. That's pretty cool. You get the best of both worlds. But look, this is the problem I have with it. Look at the lid. It doesn't close right. It doesn't close right in here. And it doesn't close right in here either. Maybe I didn't have a push. No, look, it doesn't close down right in here. I can actually hear the butane pissing out of it. Tell me if you can hear that. I can hear it. Because it's not closing all the way. The cam's not closing all the way. So, I don't know. This doesn't seem to fit in any of my Zippos properly. So I might not be able to use this, but the whole concept is good. Yeah, like it won't go down any farther than that. And look, it doesn't shut all the way. Look, when you push down, see, it just springs it back up. And I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it, it's so faint. But when I hold it up to my ear, I have good hearing. I'm holding it up to the microphone right now, but I'm talking, so I don't know what that's doing. But when I hold it up to my ear, I can hear it pissing out. And that's too bad, because the concept of this was actually really, really cool. Uh, I don't know. Let's try a different Zippo. Let's try Harley Quinn. Okay, I'm not going to show Harley Quinn on screen, but it does shut properly in an armor. I'll try a different armor. I just didn't want to use... Uh, I'm sure you guys all know why I don't want to put Harley Quinn on camera. <laughs> let me let me try with a different armor then. Okay, let's see here. Let's go to my armor pile. It's just right. I wanted to do something nicer than that. Oh, perfect. <laughs> My original etched armor. First one I ever did. All right, so we got this insert in here. And it shuts fine, too. Okay, so it shuts fine on here. Uh, it shuts fine on the armors. It shuts fine on the armors for some reason but it doesn't close very well. Uh, and I don't feel like using this armor. I'm gonna pull out a different armor to put that in. But, uh, so, I don't know, that kind of sucks. <laughs> that it only fits in an armor Zippo properly. I didn't expect that to, uh, I didn't expect that to happen with this insert, so. Uh, my camera, guys, I keep knocking it, and it's gonna fall here, I gotta tighten it. Um, oh, I polish armor. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to have to look into it and see what the problem is, what's actually happening, why it won't close on a regular why it won't close on a regular Zippo only in armor, but other than that, like I don't know, the whole concept is really cool. I do like the torch. I do like the torch soft flame aspect cuz sometimes I like using the torch and sometimes I like using a soft flame. Now, if you have an armor lighter, I don't see it being an issue. It seems to work fine in an armor for some reason. You cannot get it to close in a regular. Uh, you guys have seen it here. Uh, sorry, I'm just putting all the inserts back in the, all the inserts back in their slotted area. Put my bag trick back on. There we go. Running out of fluid. I haven't filled that thing in three weeks. <laughs> I haven't been using it every day. I've been using this one, so kind of, kind of losing its fluid just sitting there. But I keep her standing up, and it's been three weeks. It's still lighting, so that's good. But all in all, all in all, I really like this insert. I just wish it fit in Zippos better because uh, I would like to use it in a regular. I can only use it in an armor now, which is fine, but. Uh, so tell me what you think down in the comments. Uh, let me know if you guys have one, if you guys are getting one. 
I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot, Kismet. Anyone looking to buy it, it's this brand here. You said, I guess. Never heard of it. Uh, take care, everyone. See you in the next one.